Okay, more information for you on this TD Jakes and Manasseh Jordan situation. Yeah, we know exposure is happening in 2024. It's been going on for a while, but we are really going to see it start to expand now. Now, Larry Reed has revealed more information that he has on the Manasseh Jordan and TD Jakes deal. And we are going to get into all of that here in just a second. It's very interesting. Stick with me. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, it's kind of my only option. Hey, I remind you guys as well, if you enjoy and appreciate the work I do here, why not consider blessing my ministry with a generous donation? I could really use your guys' help. There's a couple different ways you could do it. One easy way, just click that super thanks button down below on this video here. That is how you can tip me with a one-time donation of any amount. Whatever you can contribute, it helps and adds up. It doesn't matter how small or how big. Or you can become a premium member of Not By Sight News. Join my Patreon today for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash Not By Sight News. Link in the description. When you join the Patreon, you get all the videos before they ever hit my main YT platform. I always take care of the Patreon members first and foremost. Also there, you get exclusive links to these topics that we discuss. And well, I can only include them on the Patreon now just because the way things are going on YT, I just can't take any chances of getting popped. So uh, they'll be for you on Patreon. Also there, you can comment censorship free on all videos and you can even send me DMs. So check it out again. It's patreon.com slash news. Link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Now, before we get into everything involving Larry Reed, Manasseh Jordan, TD Jakes, I have an update for you guys. Uh, uh, you guys have been great. Um, as, of course, a few days ago, uh, I let you guys all know um, that uh, our family dog, Maverick, had a seizure. And so you guys have all been praying. You've been awesome in the comments section. All your words, what you guys have said has just, I mean, they have meant the world to me and my family. And so I've, I've pledged to keep you guys updated. You've asked for those and I'm giving updates, you know, on, you know, every couple of videos that I can. So uh, with this latest one here, um, today uh, he is probably doing the, the best that he has done since the seizure. Uh, he still has a long way to go. Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, his mobility, and you gotta understand with Maverick, he had already had pretty bad arthritis prior to the seizure that he had. So his, his balance and everything wasn't the greatest as it was. Although we had him on a lot of medication that was helping him, you know, with pain and comfort. He was actually still going on, you know, some small walks with us on a regular basis, as much as you can expect from a 14-year-old dog. Uh, but the, the seizure really had taken a lot out of him and caused him to be very wobbly and, and kind of like walking kind of like a drunkard a little bit, um, kind of bumping into things and everything. So... Uh, so that's been a challenge trying to get the mobility back. He's also been very tired still. Um, the energy level hasn't been completely back yet. Uh, however, today we've noticed a little bit of a change. He seems a little bit more mobile than he was the day before. And look, we'll take it. I mean, any sort of little ounce of improvement that we can get, that we can say, hey, this looks a little bit better than it did the day before, uh, we are, are happy and, and blessed to say that and report it to you guys. And this is a, a testament to your prayers for all of us, uh, for Maverick, especially for his recovery. Uh, he feels those prayers and trust me, uh, myself and my family do as well, because uh, it's been incredibly stressful for us. Uh, the lack of sleep, the worrying, the fear, uh, everything that comes with it has been a, a, a tremendous uh, ordeal for us to have to go through. Uh, in the meanwhile, I, I haven't been able to you know, be on here as much as I normally have. I'm doing the best that I possibly can to split my time. So uh, again, uh, we are very happy. We I kind of came up with a little idea of using some kitchen mats that have a little bit more grip on them. So I kind of had those surrounded, put those around his water bowl so that actually when he goes to drink that he has a little bit more grip when he is standing. Um, and that seems to have been helping because beforehand it was just on the regular floor and he was kind of slipping. Uh, but these mats have a little bit more grip for him to actually keep his balance. So those have shown to have worked a little bit better. Um, as well as him going out to the bathroom uh, and stuff, he's been able to hold his balance a little bit more. Uh, so again, uh, slowly but surely, uh, we're, we're happy with anything that we can see. Keep praying, please, for him. 
uh, for his recovery. Uh, and again, I'll continue to keep you guys updated on him uh, as, as much as we can. You guys have been great. You're, again, your, your, your love for him and just, you don't even know him, but just uh, knowing him through what I've told you about him, he's, he's an amazing dog. We call him a survivor for a reason. He is, um, he is my best friend and uh, I love him so much. So again, thank you all for your prayers. Okay, let me get to this. And I appreciate the patience too for maybe those that are coming in for the first time here, but you know, I did promise everybody I would keep them updated. So uh, here we go, the Manasseh Jordan, T.D. Jake situation. So Larry Reed, of course, I'm gonna try not to do too much review here, but Larry, and you guys can go back on my channel and you can watch all the video updates that I've done on this uh, already. But Larry Reed has been the one that has been really, you know, uh, releasing this information between T.D. Jakes and Manasseh Jordan and, and all the inappropriate behavior uh, that had gone on between the two. And along with that came the receipts. People wanted to, you know, they said Larry Reed was just making this up or he was lying and saying that, oh, there was, this wasn't actually happening between Jakes and Manasseh. Uh, and then what happened? Larry Reed showed receipts in the form of text messages between Jakes and Jordan. And then those people had, uh, well, they got quiet pretty quick after that, after calling Larry Reed a liar and this and that. And so, of course, those messages uh, go back to 2016. And of course, there was the one, the one everyone's been talking about, the one that Jakes had sent to Jordan around 2.30 in the morning. Again, who sends a message at 2.30 in the morning? That, you know, two guys, it's kind of weird. And, you know, Jakes had sent this attached image of himself and he kind of was like, flexing and this and that and kind of, you know, and it said, you know, thinking of you and miss you and everything. It's just, just weird. Now, Larry had talked about the fact that, you know, you know, Manasseh was, you know, somebody who likes to work out and go to the gym and stuff. And, and so, you know, Jake's might've liked that. And he was trying to flex a little bit back in the message exchange, which again is extremely weird to do. Now, here is something new that we are hearing from Larry Reed. Um, and again, it, there's a lot of people who don't like Larry Reed, and that's fine. You don't have to like him. That's not what this is about. Uh, but Manasseh Jordan has decided to you know, be in contact with Larry on this. Now, Larry said, this is not all. Do you think that just these couple screenshots that I've shown here with these text exchanges between the two is, is it? It's not. He goes, I have more. I have more screenshots, but I also have audio. He's like, that's right, I have audio receipts, audio clips between the two of them. If you thought that the text messages that now have been put up there for everybody to see, showing Jake's inappropriate behavior with Manasseh, if you thought that was something, you ain't seen nothing yet when it comes to the audio. Now, Larry said, I have it now. I could play it now, he said. But I've talked with Manasseh, and he said that he is working on his lawsuit. He says, he goes, until... Manasseh actually files that lawsuit, which he is working on. I am going to wait on releasing the audio because Larry apparently wants this lawsuit to be official, to go through, and then he will go ahead and play the audio clips between the two of them. So if that goes down, well, then we're going to have a whole nother piece of this now that we're going to have to look into because many people have dismissed the text messages as just saying, oh, that's just two guys that are just being friendly with one another. And there's nothing to see here. And I just, I don't agree with that at all. Uh, it's very weird for somebody who is in a position of a pastor or a bishop, especially since Jake's was his spiritual advisor, uh, to be sending those types of messages back and forth. Then even the other ones that we saw when he was talking about, you know, oh, you're awfully quiet. Is everything okay? And, and, you know, it's just, it's not a good look for a pastor to be doing that with, with somebody uh, who is their, you know, mentee. So uh, these audio clips are apparently coming soon. So stay tuned for that. But here was something else that Reed said, because uh, I was kind of going through and, and, and breaking down from his show the other day. He talked about how, and this could potentially, if this goes down, this could really bring down Jake's. We're not 100% sure it's going to happen. However, Larry said that Manasseh has apparently been contacted by a major media outlet that wants to interview him about everything T.D. Jake's. They've apparently kept up with what's been going on. They've seen some of Manasseh's own videos where he's discussed it. Now, of course, we know now 
that Manasseh finally did mention T.D. Jakes by name. I discussed that in a video the other day because people were coming at him too, saying, well, why are you, you're being a coward. Why don't you just mention him? Why are you having Larry Reed be your official spokesperson? If this is actually true, let's hear it from you. Well, now we have because Manasseh had mentioned, you know, the, the pride and the arrogance of, of T.D. Jakes when he gave that, you know, that statement on his Christmas Eve service. And then Manasseh said that he was actually going to be doing another video at some point. And maybe by the time some of you are watching this now, he already has. But where he was going to be breaking down the messages with TD. Okay, that's what Larry Reed has been doing. But if we're going to hear it directly from Manasseh, that's a completely different story. So Larry said that this major media outlet that has contacted Manasseh say that they, they want to sit down with him. They want him to tell his story. What exactly went down between you and TD? Now, Manasseh has not said whether or not he is going to actually take this, whoever this media, this major media outlet is, up on their offer. Uh, and, and people are talking about, well, he'll, if he wants to do it, he'll do it for the money. This, this guy already has the money. He doesn't need any more. So it would be specifically for exposure and letting people know who Jake's really is. And this is besides his false doctrine, everything else that we know about him already that has made him a false teacher for, I mean, decades now. But this would really put the story out there in the mainstream and bring some eyes to what's really going on here in these big mega churches. So we will see if and when that actually goes down and who that media outlet would be. Now, if you have any thoughts on who it could be, you guys can drop them down below uh, in the comment section here. And... I'll, I'll end with this because Larry was addressing, you know, the backlash that he's been receiving saying that, oh, you just, you know, you just don't like TD Jakes and you have it out for him. And he says, that's actually not it at all. And Larry said that if, if TD could do the right thing, and that means to, to come out and, and actually, you know, publicly confess and address, repent all of what he has done, admit that he was you know, that he has a problem, if you know what I mean. Take a step back from ministry. Take a year away from ministry, Larry was saying. At least. And maybe that won't even be enough, and maybe he just needs to go away altogether and allow somebody else to come up in his place because too much, you know, damage has already been done. But if he were to get up and he would actually acknowledge what he has done and be honest and ditch this pride and this arrogance and the, the exact attitude that he gave during his Christmas Eve service, which you guys know, you know, he was saying that, oh, even if I did do these things, all I would have to do is repent and it's all taken care of, as if to say there's no consequences for your actions whatsoever, right? But will T.D. Jakes do that? My bet would be no. He has already shown defiance, rebellion, and plus... <laughs> Larry already talked about the fact that this guy had somebody from TD Jakes's camp had apparently contacted Larry and offered him half a million dollars to keep his mouth shut as it comes to talking about this stuff. Now, Larry didn't take the money. He says, I don't need the money either. But if, if this is TD Jakes strategy to just pay people off to, you know, keep them quiet, well, then I do not for a second expect any sort of genuine repentance to come from this guy. Now, when the lawsuits come out, and remember, it's not just going to be Manasseh. There are more individuals, and Larry has already named two others, okay? But when these lawsuits start to come out, and this thing goes a little bit more public than it already is, well, that's then going to become interesting. Because what we may see then, I think we should see this now, but is a true third-party investigation like Grace or somebody like that going into the Potter's house and looking into everything that's been going on over there, well, really for the past decade and probably even more. I mean, it happens with other churches, right? Hillsong, I mean, all these other ones have had, you know, Robbie Zacharias and everybody else, RZIM. So uh, we will see, but I will keep you guys updated on this. And of course, I will have more info for you over on my Patreon at patreon.com slash not by site news. Remember, if you are already a patron, well, you're already getting this information and you get the videos before they ever hit the main YT platform. But if not, hey, what are you waiting for? You guys can sign up and it blesses the ministry as well. You do it for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash not by site news. 
And of course, if you prefer just to bless this ministry uh, with a super thanks, you can just click that super thanks button on this very YT video here to bless the ministry that way. I welcome your thoughts on this as well in the comment section. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we are in the last days, really the final hours, and Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you are somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer that you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash news. link in the description, or just hit the super thanks button down below on this video here, where you can tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.